during a live program on AIC News seen by Sahar reporters Ajia Najatu Muhammad. The former campaign director of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council revealed that President Bola Tinumbu informed her he had no plans on how to govern Nigeria before the 2023 election, general elections. We, 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 we know, I'm sure a lot of people, because I remember this woman, I think two days ago, that said, ah, this woman said something, you know, because uh, according to what she said, that Tinumbu does not really have anything, that she was asking Tinumbu that said, what do you have for the people up north? And Tinumbu said he has nothing. Is he not playing out now? Not only in the north, Nigeria generally, he does not have what it takes. And a lot of people really criticize this woman. Go and sit down. This and that. This and this. And a lot of people who were stepping down during their primaries, APC primaries, we learned that he bought tickets for all of them. And that is exactly what this woman is saying. That Tinubu offered to buy her a ticket. And she said no. That she could afford a ticket. According to Sarah reporters, it was reported that Mrs. Muhammad explained that this revelation prompted her resignation from the ruling party before the election. She recounted that during one of their meetings in London before the polls, Sinubu indicated that indicated to her that the blueprint for this governance of the country will be formulated after the election. The statement raised concerns for Mrs. Muhammad regarding the president's competence. While she was talking, she said she saw a message on her phone saying that Ashiwaju wanted to talk to her and around 11 p.m. she gave them a reply that she was waiting for his call and immediately they saw a text Ashiwaju called her. She said, Ashiwaju said, I respect your stance on not accepting the appointment. I said yes sir because I cannot be a zombie. I just cannot follow you because you said I should follow you. Let me know what you have for ups up north. Because if I made a mistake on Buari with you, the truth is written on the horizon. Further talking, she said, so I have to know what you have us for us in the north region. He said he was in London that I, if I could, I should go over. He offered to buy me a ticket. I said, no, sir, I can afford a ticket. And then he said, can I get a hotel for you? I said yes. That we, that I will appreciate. I took the next Lufthansa to London. She claimed she saw him that same night, and she told him that the reason why she did not accept his appointment was because she doesn't even know what he has for them in the north. Because in the north, every single person is either waiting to be ill or kidnapped, and they cannot go on like this. She said, "What is your blueprint for us?" Itinubu told me that he does not have anything for us. Is he not say playing us now? Huh? Yes, ma, these are the type of mothers we want in the position of leadership of our great country. Keep it up. Don't allow them to stain your to stain you. Mm. Uh, people are, are, are uh, throwing tantrums against this woman. Uh, she's not serious. Exactly what she said. Like I said, I remember this woman. Baby, they, they say, ah, and this woman talk this kind of thing. You know, say this thing no go better for you know go good with this man come. They say, hey, no, no, we see they talk. But now is he not playing us? Does Sinubu have a any plan for this country? And Sinubu son, happy ATS. You are a bloody liar. You are just like a Rufai who saw the handwriting of ridiculousness and made a U turn. What are your profiles that makes you essentially important? Okay, we asking that nonsense questions. Okay, fulanization on rampage. Who will believe this kind of story? She said before, nobody today she talking. This is just a, this is the kind of the story they tell us to forget our problems, to focus and pay attention to their problems that can never come to pass. There's no wisdom in flogging a dead horse. <laughs> this is a sadist who looking for juicy positions which shouldn't even she couldn't even get and continue to blackmail Tinubu. I laugh at your foolishness. I laugh at your foolishness. Mm. Is she in a position to determine what not get? Secondly, the VP is from the north and represents them. Is it not the same VP that is crying and blaming other people of their failures? Down here, we don't even wait for government to do 
anything for us. No scholarship. We buy generator for our own power supply each house. We don't even wait for anybody to feed us. We are hustlers. I beg. No vessel. My word may be harsh, but I feel for you there. Is this about your leaders there? Although no difference about us too. No trade west. Let us talk together with one voice as Nigerians. Not with a voice of Yoruba Usa Fulani. Who they talk? Now they middle come. And now you won't talk about that. Lies from the pit of a just imagine someone who wanted to be president without knowing or having a blueprint of what he will do or how he will govern. He think he thinks the street mentality he used to govern Lagos states will work for Nigeria as a nation. The devil, the evil you people are doing then we come here telling us to pray. The Europeans and Arabs that brought religions to us do not even depend only on prayers the way you hypocrites are doing. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.